So basically today I wanted to show you all the stuff I've been painting because there has been so much since the last video. I was just editing and uploading that video. That's what I was doing this morning. So it's about 10.45 now. I got that video edited, uploaded, made the thumbnail, the description, and it is live and ready. So I was seeing, you know, I had finished those tiny quilt pieces. I was almost done with my little carnation piece, but I have done so much more painting since then. So let me show you what I've been up to. Of course, there is this commission, which I have finished. I need to reach out to my uncle who this commission is for to coordinate shipping with him. And um, yeah, I really like how this came out. Um, I might put some different, I might put some different footage over this, but I think you'll be able to see that pretty good. Um, I just added more detail and sort of clarified and cleaned up around the hands, the fish, the seaweed, um, changed some of the colors um, and lines a little bit, and I'm really, really happy with this painting. Another one, which I actually started two days ago and finished yesterday, is a pet portrait. This one is going to be an example. I'd really like to open my pet portrait commissions again very soon. And so what I'm trying to do is create some examples and see how long they take me to make, what kind of qualities I'm getting, how they're looking to me, so I can get an idea of how to price them going forward. Because whenever I did pet portraits in the past, I did really small ones, um, five by seven, and eight by 10 were the two sizes that I would offer. And I would do these as acrylic paintings on paper. I want to go bigger and I want to be able to charge more. I also feel better about my skill now. And I actually think they'll come out better a little bit bigger. So after finishing a pet portrait that I did a few weeks ago, I'll have to put a picture up for you guys so you can see that one came out so nice. And I would really love to be making more of those again. So I did this one as a practice. This is uh, my in-laws dog. Her name is Candy and I love how this came out. They're always saying that she is really hard to photograph and that she's not photogenic, but I took a lot of photos of her last time I saw her and this one came out so sweet. She is such a gentle, fluffy, sweet, sweet dog and she is a princess. So we went with a pink background. <laughs> Um, I'm going to probably hold on to this one so that I can show it to people in person to use as an example and give this to this one whenever I have more or next time I go back to Baton Rouge. So that was yesterday. I actually finished both of those pieces and I started on this one, which I'm sure you've been kind of eyeing. It's so bright and I love how this one's coming out. This one's super, super close to being done. I'd like to finish this one today. This one's based on a photo that I took of some flowers that my mother-in-law, Candy's mom, uh, brought to us at some point whenever she came to visit. And I loved the color of the tulips. I put them in this glass that we have. And we have this colorful, not colorful, but like blue and white, like really textured, interesting, like backsplash and butcher block countertop. And I just loved the color and composition of this photograph and I knew that I would turn it into a painting one day and I've drawn it and I've kind of tried to make paintings of this photo before but never really been satisfied with it so I thought it'd be nice to just try and do a small one and I'm so happy with this I might do another one of this and do it even bigger um, so really love that one with my leftover paint from that piece I made a tiny strawberry on paper. I don't think I'm gonna like sell this one or anything. The paper got a little bit messed up um, from taping it, but I just thought it was really cute. So I left it up here with this one. Wanted to show y'all. And then my next piece that I'm working on, I have just gotten started. So again, with the leftover paint, um, I created this beigey, um, I don't know what you would call this color. Um, did a, did a 
not an underpainting, but I coated the whole canvas in that color to use that as my mid-tone. Um, this is based on a photo that I took at a wedding that I went to last summer. They had really beautiful flowers and bottles and candles um, on the tables for dinner and um, the, the wine that we were drinking and the flowers and the lighting was so lovely. I took a lot of photos of the table, hoping again that one day I would turn it into a painting. So starting with a small one and I feel really good about this so far. I just did this really at the end of the night um, last night and kind of laid out where I want my objects to go. I printed this one out. Hold on. This is what I'm using as a reference and I can put the like the digital version so you can see the color a bit better. Um, but I kind of have moved around like where this little candle is going to go and where this bottle is going to go to create a little bit of a better composition for the painting. But I feel good about still being able to get the colors and the shadows in there right because they're just cylinders sitting next to each other. So I don't think that it's going to mess with my ability to render this. Um, I think it'll be nice to play with it a little bit, bring out some of the colors and shadows a bit more than they are in the photo, um, just to make it a little bit more compositionally interesting and get more of a full range of values because this is a little bit mid-tone to dark and I want to, in creating a painting, it's nice to have some areas that are really light and some areas that are really dark to bring out the 3D like nature of the objects that you're painting. Um, that's something that I definitely did with this one. Um, again, with the photo reference, like I pulled out the colors more in the shadow parts down here, in the vase, under like at the bottom of the flowers and on the inside. Bringing out that darkness enhances the 3D quality without getting a perfect rendering of every single little line and detail. And that's something that I like about this style of painting that I've been doing. Um, it's so clearly the photo, but taking that liberty to enhance some aspects and bring things out based on their sort of importance to the painting and the composition makes it a better painting than it is a photograph and that is something that is really important to me. Let's see, I'm gonna do some painting. I'm gonna work on this piece right now and get the values and shapes laid out. should be good. Um, whew, it's about 2.30. I've actually had a really productive day. Let me show you where I'm at with this painting. I'm so happy with how this is coming out. It's, I think it's really close to being done. I'm not quite finished yet. A lot of times I will, whenever I'm almost done with something, I'll let it dry to put the finishing touches on it a different day. 
I think that helps me to really feel like it's complete to come back to it with fresh eyes a new palette and everything and just kind of fix the things that need it the most and finalize the most important parts of the painting so I'm probably going to do that for this piece tomorrow while I was gone I had lunch and then was thinking about how I want to work on the quality of my YouTube videos. So I did some research um, while I was having lunch and I made like an end screen thing. So it'll say, thanks for watching. It'll have a picture of me that hopefully maybe will link to my channel and then has like my website and it has a box where I can put like another video to link to. I'll have to see whenever I edit and upload this video if that works. If it does, you'll see it. <laughs> um, so just adding, like, thinking about, you know, upgrading my videos with stuff like that. I want them to have, I really like to have, like, a little intro, like, theme song or something. Like, not really a theme song, but something at the beginning with my name on it and stuff. And then now I have my little end card. Hopefully that will work and get my channel like updated. I'm just, I want to do it right. You know, I'm putting so much time and effort into making this channel and I want it to be good. So that's something that I worked on. I also made a reel for Instagram uh, about this piece. Um, I filmed some of my painting hallways and I even tried to match up my painting clips with a song that I like instead of using a trending audio. It was pretty difficult, but I think I'm gonna try to keep doing that because for reels, trending audios like bug me because of the like repetitive like sounds, like looking at reels starts to really bother me because it's the same sounds over and over again. And it makes sense that people do that because it is so easy, I've realized, to make reels using an audio and a template that already exists. I did that for a reel yesterday. Super easy. I probably worked on that for like 10 minutes. This I probably worked on for like 45 minutes and it's good. I think it's a nice reel. I hope that someone sees it, but it's like whenever you're putting that kind of effort into that, just for someone to see your work and be like, oh, that's nice that they didn't like use a trending audio. I don't know. I think that's maybe something that I would appreciate, but I don't know if anyone's even going to see it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's part of why I feel like I was productive. And after I made my reel, did my end screen, I also came back to this painting and got it to the point that it is at now. And I'm feeling really, really good about that. It is 2.30 in the afternoon and I feel good about my progress on my painting and stuff today. I think it would be nice to get something started for tomorrow. It was really nice that whenever I came into my studio this morning, I had the background and the plan for this piece done. So what I want to do before I finish and clean up and everything for the day is maybe even do two if I can get a base color down print out my photo or put a grid on it on my computer. I've been going back and forth on which I prefer to do. Um, I can put a grid on it on my computer and just work from that um, or print it like I did with this one. But I have some, I have some reference photos that I'd like to use for painting saved on my computer. So I think I'll look through those, choose one or two, pick out a canvas and put a base color on there and start sketching out where I want the objects in the painting to be. I think that will be really good to get me started for tomorrow. I am going to a slam poetry night tonight with a friend. I'm super excited for that. And I'm glad that I'll have my everything, you know, set up and in a good place for tomorrow. So tonight we'll see if I can get a little bit of footage of the other things I get up to, but I think that this is goodbye for now.